Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Uh, exhausted. Exhausted? But it's Monday. Yes. Uh, this is the problem. <laughs> Today we have we had a lot of news about the government and we need to analyze analyze it, analyze analyze uh, the consequence of that. Yeah, I I probably haven't so seen exhausted. like like many things, but I saw that the the ambassador from the United States is leaving. I think next week. So. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going to happen. I'm, to be honest with you, I'm not sure if that's, I think it's bad. Uh, but I don't know. There is a new uh, law about, uh, I don't know, expropriation of your uh -huh. property, of your property. And I, I don't remember, ah, well, uh, the, the discussion about the, a project of a law of a external agents too. Mm -hmm. It's too bad. <laughs> yeah, I have heard about it and yeah, it doesn't seem that it's something good. So we will we will see to see what what's next, what happens. And well but I think that that's gonna complicate your your job, right? Yes, we work uh, with a lot of NGO and some of them uh, were, I don't know, in, in, in intervenidas by the... Uh, by the new law? No, por el fiscal. I don't remember what is the, the name of the Fiscal General de la República. Today, uh, seven of seven of this uh, NGO uh, were intervenidas, I don't know. Let me Interven look for it. Okay, but intervention, I don't know what is the, the, the word, but uh, it's, uh, it's very, I don't know, sad and- uh, Interfere. Interfere, okay. Mm -hmm. Interfere uh, during the this day. And this is a problem for us. Boss. Yeah, I can't imagine. There's gonna be a problem and, well, it's complicated. Um, I, I'll be honest, I'm, most of the time, I'm not sure like the things that they do or the laws that they, um, they approve. And I think that I, I should know more, but uh, sometimes I'm like, okay, I mean, I, I, I don't know exactly what to think about those things. I, I most of the time I think that there are bad things that are happening, but I think that there's like many things inside that that people ask me that they don't know and it make it worse. So so well we will see. Uh, let's go to uh, to Switzerland. <laughs> let's move to Switzerland. <laughs> All right. What about the rest? Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Hi, Rafael. How are you? Hi. Fine. Thank you. How was your day? It was bus busy. 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 Yes. Yeah. Like every Monday, right? Every Monday. Yeah. <laughs> I'm ready for the class. Great. That's mm -hmm. good. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Yeah, Mondays always are busy, always are busy. Yes. So, but we will need to wait and be like very optimistic for Friday. So then we go and get our... <laughs> 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 yeah, that's, the, that's the, the word to keep in mind. Like, okay, now four days less for Friday, three days late for, for Friday, two less day for Friday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, but thank you very much for being here. And hey, we got there a new, <laughs> a new student with us. <laughs> All right. So, good evening, everybody. Uh, thank you very much for being here um, on time. Uh, this is for 
uh, 11th class. So we are almost finishing the curse. Uh, the curse is going to end next week. Uh, next Tuesday, it's going to be our last class. So we're just missing uh, with this one, uh, six classes. So we're almost finishing this part of the group, of the group of the class, I'm sorry. So thank you very much for being um, here. And so we're almost finishing, all right? So uh, we're gonna start here with something. And I know that this is something that you have played before, but let me share it with you first. Let's see this one. Uh, have you ever played um, Bachillerato Stop? Have you? Yes? Yes. 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 Okay. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to play today Bachillerato Stop. To be honest, I'm not sure. Uh, and I don't think that uh, high school stop, it's, it's the name. So we're going to leave it as it is, but you have to stop. And that's what we're going to play. Uh, this is the chart that I need you to do. Uh, we're going to have the letter that I will say to you. Uh, you will have to look for an animal, then for a color, uh, then a verb in past, and finally a verb in past participle. Of course, that the verb in past participle could be the same as the verb in past because it's gonna be it gonna, it's going to start with the same letter. Uh, there are some that not, but most of them yes. So you can use the same, um, but if it changes, then you will have to look for another uh, verb in past participle. So, uh, and the dynamic is simple. I'm gonna write a letter here where it says letter. Uh, and then you will go ahead and look for an animal, a color, verb in past, and verb in past participle with the letter I'm going to post here at the beginning. Then the first person who finished the chart with the words that uh, we are assigning here is going to say stop. That's all the thing that he's going to say. He's going to say stop, and then everybody stops, and we start seeing what words that person found, okay? Remember that this is going to be in English. So the animal should be in English, the color should be in English, the verb, of course, it's in English and the verb in past participle as well. So let me know once you have done, uh, please make a chart with three spaces. So a uh, one line, I'm sorry, three spaces, three lines. One line here, one line here, and one line here. We're gonna play three times, okay? So let me know when everybody have finished uh, making the chart so we can go ahead and start. Finish. Finish. Okay. Finish. Thank you, Sophia. Thank Yolanda. You finished. Okay. Thank you. Finish. Okay. Thank you, Crisia. But she had to stop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You can say stop, but she had to stop. Both are correct. Once you finished. I really like this game. I used to play when I was, I think, on. I don't know, like junior high. And it was pretty, pretty good, pretty fun. So please confirm once you have finished so we can start. I'm ready, teacher. Okay, very good. Thank you, Raul. 
Okay, see, I'm ready. Great, thank you, Dagoberto. Please confirm once you have ready. finished. Ready, thank you, Irving. Okay, Naomi, you finished too? Good. Okay, so we're going to start right now. Uh, I'm gonna put here a uh, letter. Once I put the letter, to just um, start writing the words. Remember, there's those words should be in English. And once you finish, then you say stop, or what you have to stop. And then everybody stops, and we start saying the, 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 the words that you got. OK. So are you ready? Very good. OK, so the first letter, it's going to be a. So look for an animal with A and a color with A. Verb in passing with A and a verb with past participle with A. Anyone? Nobody has finished yet? Stop. Stop? Okay. Very good. So, Noemi, tell us, what animal do you have with A? Ant. Ant. Yes. Very good. What about the color? Aqua. Aqua. Yes. <laughs> Very past. A walk. A walk. Very a good. Walk. Yes. A walk. And in past participle? The same verb or can be other? It could be the same. Okay. A walking. A walking. Very good. Excellent. Good. So you got 20 points. Very good job. Somebody else that did them all or have something different? Yes. Go. Go, Yolanda. Me. Go. Uh, animal alligator. Alligator. Very good. Yes, uh, I don't have any color, uh, but I have a verb, abdicate. Abdicate, uh huh. Um, I speak means abdicated. In but past part part of, yes, I don't know. Let's abdicated. Let's see, abdicate. I don't know. Just past, I think it's a regular verb, abdicated. Yeah. But I don't have any color. Aqua, I don't I don't think I'm in aqua. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, that's correct. And abdicated, um, abdicated. That's correct. Very good. Umbar. Umbar. Yep. That's another color. Very good. Great. Okay, so we, this is what this one. All right, now let's go with another letter. So you ready? Yes. 
All right, let's go with C. Letter C. Go and do letter C. Chair at the stop. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Excellent, Yolanda. Okay. Right, animal. Uh, animal, I think it is uh, canis. Canis? Canis, sí, canis, es el perro. Oh. El, ante, el antepasado de todos. Ajá, ajá. Yeah, okay. Color, coffee. Coffee, ajá. Uh -huh. uh, verb, can. And can. Last participle, could. Could. Okay. That's good. Excellent. So you got 20 points. Great. Me. Okay, Sophia, <laughs> tell me. Uh, animal, cat. Cat. Color. Uh, <laughs> uh huh. Color. Coffee. Coffee light. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. There in bus. And let me see. Uh huh. Uh, Very fast. Por qué? I mean. No, that's fine. If you don't have it, that's fine. No worries. Uh, came, the, the verb come, come, came. Oh, uh, came, uh-huh. Came. 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 Yeah. In the past, party, come, came. What's the past participle of came? The same, come. come? The same. Com, uh-huh. Com, That's correct. The past participle for, for come, it's come. It's the same. Com. Mutation. Okay. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> All right, Elvis, what do you have? Yeah. Uh, animal, cockerel, uh, color. Cockerel. Coral, coral, coral. Okay. Cut, cut. A cut, cut. Very good. Cut. Excellent. Excellent. Great. Good, Elvis. Crisia. It's the same, just change animal. It's cow. Cow. Very good. Cow? Yeah, cow. 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 In <laughs> color, coral. And there is some, I, I'm gonna change cool and cool. To which one? What verb? Cut. Oh, cut. And, uh, and I changed for, for cool. Could, okay. Could and could. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. Excellent. Great. Okay, let's do the last one. So the next one is F. Letter F. Letter F. Finish. Right. Very good. Okay. Noemi first and then you go, Raul. Okay, animal falcon. What's the animal? Falcon. A falcon. Good falcon. Color forest. Forest. Forest green. Forest green. Yeah. 
Hmm. Is it that? Is, is it a color forest? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. All right. <laughs> Very fast bros and yes. Frozen. Okay. What's the the verb? Bros. Frozen. Frozen. And frozen. Okay. Very good. Excellent, Naomi. Good job. In our work, in a manufacturing plant, forest green is a color. It's a color. Okay. Yes. Very good. Excellent. Thank you, Naomi. All right, Raúl. Animal flamingo. Flamingo. Uh -huh. Flamingo. Color fuchsia. Fuchsia, yeah. And verb find. Find? Find. Find? Find, what? find. What's the path of find? Fine. Found. Found. Uh -huh. Found. Okay. Found. Found. And the past participle? Found. Found. It's the same, right? Yeah. Found. Found. Very good. Thank you, Raul. Sofia. Animal fish. Okay. Bear in fat. The bear. Uh -huh. Flu. Flu. Uh -huh. Flu. Ah. And past participle. Falling. Falling. Fallen. Falling. Falling. Fallen. Uh huh. Fallen. The past participle of fall. Fly. Fly. Ah. Fly. Okay, oh. flew, flown. Flown. Okay. Ah, uh, it's not falling. No, falling is the past participle of fall. Like fall, uh, fell, uh, fallen. Ah. Uh. <laughs> okay, but that, that's okay. correct. Fallen, it, it's, it's a past participle verb. But I don't have color. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> Somebody else? Fox. Animal. Go, Mauricio. No, oh, green. Well, I think it's uh, the animal, the fox. Okay. Color. No, color is difficult, but what is it? Says, fuchsia. Yeah, fuchsia. But, it, but it's not fuchsia. Uh -huh. It's fuchsia. Fuchsia. It's air. You, uh huh. Fuchsia. It's not. It's not fuchsia. It's fuchsia. It's fuchsia. Ah, fuchsia. Okay. Uh -huh. Fuchsia. Fuchsia. Uh -huh. fuchsia. Uh, verb is uh, wow. Verb. <laughs> Feel. Feel. Which one? Fall falling. Okay. If uh, fall falling. All falling, huh? Okay, but fall, what's the pass of fall? Felt. Fall? Fall? The pass of fall is felt. 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 Fall, felt, felt. Uh -huh. And the past participle? Fall, felt. Felt. No. Felt. Falling. 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 Uh -huh. It's fall, felt, and fallen. <laughs> Very good. Great. Excellent. Thank you, Mauricio. Very good. So great job, everybody. You did good. Um, you found it worse. So with this exercise, we'll learn. We, we get to know more vocabulary, colors, uh, animals, and the verbs. So great job. So. Uh, today we're going to start with uh, with this uh, with this topic, the future we're going to. And so this is uh, something that we are going to focus on these two classes today and tomorrow. Um, we're going to see the future with going to and the future with will. But both 
are correct to use them to talk about the future. You can use them both. You can use going to, or you can use will. The only thing that is going to change is what are you using it, using them for? So for example, with the future with going to, you are going to speak uh, about this or about the future with going to just to express plans that you have already decided. Something that you know that it's going, maybe that it's not going to happen, but that you already decided and said, okay, that's what I'm going to do. So you are decided that you are going to do that. Okay. And we have some examples here. I'm going to go to the beach on Saturday and I'm going to study next year. So that's a plan that I have that I already talked to my family. We already make the plan and we say, okay, that's what we are going to do. All right. So keep that in mind that when you're speaking with going to about the future plans, it's for something that you have already decided. Okay. So do we have questions with that? No? Okay. Very good. So as, as, as every topic here, we're going to be um, making this type of sentences, either a positive one, a negative, an interrogative, a yes, no question, or a WH question. Okay. So the simple form to make a, a, a statement talking about the future with going to is use um, a subject, then you use a ver uh, verb B, then you use going to, the verb in present, and finally the complement. This is very important that you make sure that you're gonna use the verb here in simple present, okay? So an example here as the one that I said before, it could be I, then the verb be am, going to, verb in the present form, go, complement to the beach on Saturday. All right. Raul, can you give me an example? Yes. Uh, I... I want going to uh, swim uh, tomorrow night. Okay. Now that actually will be if you say, I want to go to swim tomorrow. But that's something that you would like to do. But this is something that you have already decided. A plan that you have already decided. So okay. can you say, can you, can you make another example? Mm, Using the, the structure here. We are going to watch a movie. When? Uh, to, uh, Friday night. Okay, very good. We are going to watch a movie Friday night. That's correct. Excellent. Very good. Thank you, Raul. Crisia. I am going to work next Saturday. Okay. It's that already decided? Yes. <laughs> I, I feel you sad when you say yes. Super sad. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Try. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> Thank you, Gracia. Sophia. I'm going to take my next vacation in Guatemala. Okay. Can you say it again? Say, say the sentence one more time. I'm going to take my next vacation in Guatemala. Very good. Is that decided already? Uh-huh. Okay. Yes. Very good. Cool. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Thank you, Sofia. Francisco. Sure. Yes. Uh, 
uh, is uh, it's okay to say next vacation or my vacation? Um, you can say my next vacation if you're saying, for example, um, you are on vacations right now. Uh, like in the context, I'm on vacations now, but in my next vacation, I'll do that. Mm -hmm. Francisco, go. Teacher, for example, yeah. I am not going to work tomorrow. Say it again. I am not going to work tomorrow. Very good. That's correct. Uh, that's correct. That's actually this the next topic we're going to see right now. But that's correct. Good. Great. So do you have any questions with the positive sentences here? Sure. Yes. And when I have a planning, uh, maybe for the future, uh, five, uh, 15 years um, or 10 years to go, or a future, mm -hmm. uh, I what what do you say going to or or the you're gonna other, use other word. you're gonna use will will yeah and that's what we are gonna see tomorrow uh we're gonna talk about will uh that it's about probabilities or possibilities but right now uh, for everything that you have already decided then you say going to or even if it's something that it's very close but if you say something about 10 years in the in the future, then it should be will. Thank you. Sure. Very good. And now we're going to see the negative as the example that Francisco gave. So it's the same structure, it's the same thing. The only thing that changes is that you add a not uh, to, the, to the beginning of a sentence. So you say, Oh, by the way, and I wanted to tell me if this is uh, correct. Um, here we have subject, we have the not, then the verb be going to, the verb in present and the complement. Do you think this structure is correct? Do you no. think this structure is correct? No. Why not? No. Because not is after verb to be. Exactly. That's correct. And this is this actually was my mistake. Not uh, para sorprenderlos. But <laughs> that's correct. Uh, the, the not goes after the verb be. So it should be like this. So subject, verb be, then not, going to, the verb in present, and the complement. And something that you can do here with the verb be and not is you can make contractions. For example, if you say uh, she is not, then you can say she isn't. If you're saying you are not, then you can say you aren't. You aren't going to, and the rest, right? So an example here could be, um, I'm not going to work on Thursday. So that's something that I, I have already decided and it's not going to happen. But <laughs> Thursday, I'm not going to work. <laughs> yeah, that can happen. So Thursday, I'm not going to work. Can you give me an example, Dagoberto? I'm not going to visit my parents next Monday. Very good. Excellent. Dolores. I am not going to eat break, break, breakfast tomorrow in my house. Okay, but are you going to eat breakfast? No, I don't go into it. Why? In my work. Oh, oh, so you're gonna you're gonna eat breakfast, but at your work. I am going to eat breakfast in my work. Okay, very good. 
Don't skip breakfast. Eat your breakfast. Always. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very good, Dolores. That's correct. Uh, let's see, Rafael. I'm not going to eat fish tomorrow. Why? Because I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's never. decided. That's decided. Yeah. I'm never going to eat fish. <laughs> yeah, I know. The same happens with me, but with Loroco. I am <laughs> never going to eat Loroco in my life. <laughs> yeah. So I got you. Good. Good. Why, teacher? Why? <laughs> It's disgusting. I don't like it. I, 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 I mean, I have problems, for example, with the pupusas. I can't eat pupusas with Loroco. I can't. I just, the, just the smell is like, no, I can't. <laughs> Sorry. Irvin. I'm not going to listen to music after class. Why not? I'm going to sleep. <laughs> good, excellent. <laughs> that's great. Very good. That's correct. So that's how we use it. Uh, ah, something else that I forgot to say, and I think this is just in regards of pronunciation. Um, going to, uh, you can also say it as gonna. So, for example, you can say, I'm not gonna uh, play video games tomorrow, for example. Or she's not gonna. Uh, go to work tomorrow. So you can say that as well, like to make it short, but both are correct. If you say gonna, if you say going to, both are correct. Just, uh, this is just for you to know. And if you listen it in a conversation in English or in a, in a movie, in a song, if you hear gonna, you know that gonna means going to, right? The next. You write that. I'm sorry? You write it. You write it like Same? this. Yes. Let me put it here. Gonna is like this. Gonna. And here in gonna, it goes going to. This is like, uh, I don't know how to say it, like, uh, like in a slang form to say it, like when uh, like not in a formal way to say it. But I let you know because you're gonna hear it. And when you hear it, I want you to know that it's going to. And you say, ah, it's going to. Then you get it. hear in a song. Yeah. Are you gonna see me now? Mm -hmm. Sally Cooper. Yep, exactly. So then gonna, it's going to. And wanna? And wanna, it's, it's uh, one, two, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I wanna, I want to, yes, it's one, two. Like, I wanna do this. I want to do this. So it's to make it shorter as well. So great. Now we get the questions, the just no questions. So the same happens here. We change the, the verb, the, the auxiliary verb to the beginning. And then we add the subject. We put going to or gonna. Verb in present, complement, and finally the question mark. Are you going to work tomorrow? Are you going to um, play video games on the weekend? Are you going to cook tonight? Are you going to listen to music? So on and so on. So Mauricio, give me an example. I'm not going to, going to listen to my sister. Uh, I couldn't hear you. This weekend. I'm not going to visit my sister this week. Okay, good, but that's in negative. I need a question, a yes, no question. Ah, question. Oh. Mm -hmm. Are you going to, are you going to visit your sister this weekend? Very good, excellent. 
That's good. Elbis. Uh, are you going to go to the beach next week? Excellent. Judith. Okay. Um, uh, are you going to go to the party the next weekend? Excellent. Good. And Vanessa. Yes, teacher. Hi. Can you make Hi. a question? <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, are you going to the gym at night? It's are you okay. going? Can you say it again? Are you mm -hmm. going mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. ah, the verb in present? Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Are you going to to visit your mom? When? Uh, at the weekend. Okay. Very good. That's correct. Good, okay. Vanessa. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I see here uh, Francisco and then Noemi. For, ex for example, teacher, are you going to go early to sleep? Very good. That's correct. Excellent, Francisco. Noemi. Is your sister going to visit the church on Sunday? Great. Good question. Excellent. That's correct. So that's how we make the just not questions. And we answer them with short answers. We say yes or we say no. So it will be yes, I am or no, I'm not. Yes, she is. No, she isn't. And then we can provide more information. But it's going to be a short answer. And finally, the WH question is the same yes, no question, but with a WH question. By the way, do you remember the WH questions? Yes. What are the WH why, questions? Why, 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 what, were, who, why, who, who, what time, how, exactly. how, 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 yes. Where? Exactly. So that's the question we're going to put here. And then we do a just no question. For example, we can say here, uh, what are you going to do next week? What are you going to do next week? Next week? What is she going to do um, on vacation? Uh, what are you going to do um, uh, at night? What are you, uh, where are you going to spend your vacation? So something like that. Irvin. When are you going to go uh, to get the concert tickets? Good, excellent. Yolanda. Uh, what are you going to do? No, but what are what, what are, are you, uh -huh. you going to do mm -hmm. uh, uh, with your daughter next Saturday? That's correct. Right. Yeah. What are you going to do with your daughter next Saturday? Saturday. Good. Mm -hmm. Sophia. Um, what are you going to do? Anything special for Christmas? Mm, okay. In that case, I think it will be like a just no question. Uh, are you going to do anything special for Christmas? 
Ah, are you going to do anything? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> now we're at the WH question. What do you do for cream? Oh. It's with the verb B. What are? What are you going to do for Christmas? What are you going to do for Christmas? Yes, that's correct. Very good. <laughs> Great. So that's basically how we do the WH questions and basically everything with regards of the future with going to. Uh, the, the answers we made with this one are long answers. For example, what are you going to do for Christmas? Or what are you going to do on Christmas? And then you start explaining, um, on Christmas, I'm going to uh, go to my, to my parents' house. We are going to eat um, panes con pollo. And uh, we are going to, uh, what else are we going to do? Um, I don't know. We're going to spend time together. We're going to laugh. We're going to sing. We're going to eat again. And we're going to eat a lot. And we're going to eat again. And that's pretty much Christmas, right? Just eat. <laughs> so. Yeah, no. Get a get a drunk. Uh, no, that's that's on mm. on on New Year's Eve. <laughs> <laughs> that's for New Year's Eve. <laughs> Eat, teacher, and also open gifts. Yes, exactly. Also open <laughs> gift. Yes, definitely. The most important activities for yeah. Christmas and New Year. <laughs> Definitely, I forgot it. Yeah, uh, presents <laughs> yes. and gifts are are the best part for Christmas. Yeah, <laughs> so that's how you you answer the questions with WH questions. You provide long answers. So we're going to uh, we have done this already because we have uh, share or 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 ideas. So we're gonna do this. Uh, this is what we are going to do. Uh, we're going to make a question and then based on the answer that the person provides, we're going to make a ton of questions later. So, for example, the first question we have here is what you do this week? So we're going to make a question. For example, what are you going to do this week? What are you going to do this weekend? Then the answer will, for the other person could be, I am going to go shopping, for example. And then una, once the person has answered you, then you're going to start making those questions here. For example, oh, really? Who are you going to go shopping with? Con quien vas a ir a comprar? Uh, where are you going to go shopping? Uh, when are you going to uh, go shopping? Why are you going to go shopping? What are you going to shop? All right. So with this question, we're going to make conversations uh, with our classmate here. And what I want you to do is that you make these questions and you answer them uh, in the conversation there. All right. If you want, you can take a picture or you can screen capture if you're in your cell phone. Um, so uh, you can practice it with, uh, with your classmates. Okay. Uh, do you understand what we are going to do? Yes? No? Yes. Okay. Remember this one where it says go shopping, you can change it. Okay. As well as this, as uh, this question here, uh, what are you going to do this weekend? You can say, what are you going to do this, uh, this end of the year? What are you going to do this Christmas? What are you going to do um, next week? 
all right? And please change the verb. Do not put go shopping, use another one. So is everybody ready? I think yes. So let me make the groups here. Remember, you're gonna do this two, four, five question after, dependiendo lo que les hayan dicho acá, then you're gonna make these five questions, okay? So you can make the conversation. So let me make the groups. Okay, so let's go. So everybody join to the groups and start making the questions, please. Okay. Uh, do you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Um, no, okay, the question is what uh, what are you going to do this weekend? And uh, Francisco answered the question. We can change the end, uh, the end word. We we can change the end of the end of the show. We can say tomorrow. Oh, okay. What what are you going to go tomorrow morning? Say, say it again the question, Roberto. Uh, what are you going to go tomorrow morning? Well, in that case, if you say uh, going to go, it should be where. Ah, okay. Because uh, in that case, uh, you cannot say what and where and 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 go, because it wouldn't make sense. But say, como qué es lo que vas a ir tomorrow. So you can say this one, like for example, what are you going to do um, tomorrow? I'm sorry. For example, what are you going to do on I, vacation? Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, That's correct. I, I, I understand. What, what are you going to do tomorrow? Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yeah. I, I am say tomorrow morning, it's in the morning. Yes. Okay. I am going I am going to go the bank to, uh, in the morning. Who are you going to go to the bank with? Uh, could you repeat, please? Who are you going to do to go to the bank with? <laughs> uh, I am going to go along to the bank. Very good. Morning. Why? <laughs> why? Why are you going to go to the to the bank? Um, uh, because I need. Uh, Hello. I need how. Uh, a lot of um, money. <laughs> you need a lot of money. <laughs> a lot? Long? Is, is the 
the pronunciation teacher a lot a long long when i can say préstamo ah loan long loan l o a m l o n a no it's a m no it's l o a n yes a loan yeah a n loan Because, so because uh, you need what francisca i i need going to do a lot of uh, transactions in english uh, transactions i need to do uh, a lot of transactions in the bank in the morning okay in that case you can just answer uh, because i need to do a lot of transactions mm -hmm. okay okay very good. Good job. Let me go ahead. So I'm going to move to another group. Keep practicing. Good job. Okay. Okay. What are you studying English? The same example. Can you say the question again? What are you what are you going to study? No, what are you going uh -huh. to practice? Practice English. Okay, but in that case. Remember that at the end, what you have to add, it's a, um, like a future phrase. You can say, uh, what are you going to practice? And, you, and then you say, tomorrow, next week, next year, the, tonight. The exactly. Because if you say, what are you going to study English? Then it's mm -hmm. como, que, que vas a practicar sure. inglés? So you, you are answering the question already. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So say it again. What are you going to study English uh, tomorrow? No, but no le agregue el English. What are no. you going to study tomorrow? Exactly. What study. are you going to study tomorrow? Yes. What are you going to study tomorrow? Good. I am going to study English la, uh, in the night. At night. night. At night. Mm -hmm. Yes, um, I'm a study tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to. I'm going to study tomorrow uh, the verb to be in, in an English class. Okay, I'm going to study the verb to be in the English class tomorrow. Uh, the the next questions. The, the first the uh, is the last, but uh, in the original sentence, what are you going to do tomorrow night? And we oh, okay conversation is a class English class. Okay, very good, great. So you finished with all of the questions? Yes. Okay. Very good. Excellent. Great job. Thank you. All right. So we're going to go back to, I'm sorry? Thanks for your consel. How do you say consel? Advice. Advice. Sure. You're welcome. Anytime. So we're going to go back because we're almost, actually it's nine o'clock right now and we're going to finish the class. So let's go back to the main class so let me just let me get this here
All right. So, do you have any questions so far in regards of the of using the 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 going to be for decided plans in the future? Do you have questions so far? Yes, no? No questions? No teacher. Okay. Very good. All right. So so this was the class for today. Uh one more time, thank you very much for being here. Uh, if you have if you don't have any questions, so then we're gonna see tomorrow. Uh, oh, one more thing before we finished. Uh, I posted in the on the group that um, they say that all of the of the problems that you have with the platform they have been fixed. Um, the audios are there, the transcripts are, are there, so there shouldn't be any problem for you. you can complete the whole exercises. Okay, so you can get your cert your certified. Okay. Okay. So. Please go and do if you haven't done it. Uh, if you have, well, thank you. And we're going to see tomorrow. Okay? So have a good night. And we're going to see teacher. tomorrow. Thank, thank you, teacher. Take care. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Take care, thank Ron. you, teacher. You're welcome. Good Take night, care. teacher. Bye-bye. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. See you. Bye-bye.